Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a cook with me. I was contacted by a company called Kusori and they sent me this pressure cooker for free. Now I'm not sponsored but they did send this to me to go ahead and review and share with you guys. So it also came with a recipe book. It came with a few other things like an extra seal for the lid, a spoon, a measuring cup, things like that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and be trying this lemon garlic chicken. Now I've never used a pressure cooker before, so go ahead and bear with me if it takes me a minute to figure it out. But this recipe looks simple enough. It only has six ingredients, including the chicken itself. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil, two skinless chicken breast halves. Now I have holes and mine are pretty large, so I might have to cut them in half a tablespoon of salt, which is in my little owl here, a tablespoon and a half of black pepper, and garlic powder, and one lemon juiced. My lemon is on his last leg here. He needs to be used. So it says to go ahead and turn on the pressure cooker, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so that is turned on. It says press the saute function and then press the start button. So here we go. Okay, so it says to wait until the pot heats up and then add one tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to heat up and I can hear Ariella waking up from her nap. So I'm probably gonna have to go get her. Okay, Ariella's awake and sitting right behind the camera. So it just beeped at me, and I'm guessing that means that it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in a tablespoon of olive oil on the bottom, like it says to do. Okay, there's that. And let's see what it says to do next. Okay, so seasoned chicken with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on both sides. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave my chicken breasts. Hopefully they're not too big because they're not halves. So I'm hoping that they're not too big and they will come out fully cooked. If not, I'm sure I can just adjust the time. But I think it says this recipe for these, for these two chicken breasts should only take five minutes to cook. Can you believe that? Five minutes. You could have chicken done in five minutes. That's faster than the time it would take you to drive to Taco Bell and get your food. <laughs> and yes, I said Taco Bell because I love Taco Bell. Anyway, so now I'm gonna, I think, go ahead and add this into the pot. So I just went ahead and put my garlic powder on the chicken while it's out here right now. Oops, wrong one. Um, that way I only have to worry about flipping it when it's inside the pot and not seasoning it and all that kind of stuff too. Not that it would be that hard, but anyway, it's easier to do that while I'm doing the salt and pepper. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pretty hot in there. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lemon juice ready. So while I'm waiting for the chicken to cook, I know it's not gonna be long, but I wanted to show you what else came with the pressure cooker. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this little measuring cup that came with it to just go ahead and squeeze my lemon juice into. And I think it's cool that it came with an extra seal. That way if something happens to the seal that you have that you don't have to go and order another one. Um, I hope you can hear me over the sizzling of this chicken. So it came with a little ladle as well. And then one of these little rice spoons um, I think it's a spoon, spatula, rice spatula. So, came with that, and then I think this is actually supposed to be on here. Okay, we'll slip that on. Okay, I think that doesn't really matter because I'm. I don't think I'm actually using like the pressure cooking mode of this. I'm just sauteing the chicken. So. Yeah, it doesn't even say to put the the lid on because I'm not actually pressure cooking something. But I think that's really cool that it has all of these options. You can do rice, slow. you can use it as a slow cooker, you can do meat, stew, poultry, brown, white, brown rice, white rice, you can make yogurt, pasta, 
Um, you can steam vegetables, you can steam potatoes, you can bake in here. I mean, this can replace so many appliances. I think it's awesome. I think it's totally awesome. So anyway, it came with one of these things, which I was watching a video on YouTube of somebody steaming some um, baked potatoes in here on this. Or, and I've also seen someone use um, another pressure cooker and use this to make um, hard boiled eggs. So, and I think it's cool that it also comes with a lid like this. So when you're just making something like that, hey, look, the sound went away. So you can just put the lid on it like that. And I think that is totally awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the chicken now. Okay, nice and brown on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on so it's not super loud. Um, now, if I wasn't filming, I wouldn't care, but obviously you won't be able to hear me if it's so sizzly. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut my lemon in half and juice it right now. I don't have like one of those juicer things, so I'm just going to squeeze the juice out of it, which should work just fine. And you know what I think is so great about this? Is I'm cooking the chicken in this one pot, and then if I want to do chicken and rice for dinner, all I have to do is take the chicken out, set it on a plate, probably put it in the microwave just to let it, you know, keep it warm or in the oven, whatever I want to do, and start my pot of rice in the rice cooker, in the pressure cooker, because it does like, what, eight things, seven things in one. So honestly, all you'll have is your pot to clean up and then any dishes you use for dinner that you would have, you know, you obviously have to use dishes for dinner unless you're gonna eat right out of the pot, but hey. But I think it's so awesome that all you have to do is wash the one pot rather than going over there and frying your chicken, having to wash the frying pan and then having to wash your pan that you cook your rice in or if you have a different rice cooker. It's really great, I think, that you only have to end up washing the one thing to cook your whole dinner in. I'm gonna go ahead and check on the chicken now. Oh, it smells really good. I should have cut my breasts in half. So, like the recipe said, but I didn't. And so it's gonna take more than five minutes, definitely. So anyway, I'm gonna squeeze the other half of my lemon. So, I wanted to let you guys know that Kasori has a Facebook page that you can join and they have all kinds of recipes, like they have a community, so everybody, you know, if you have any questions, everybody's there to answer. Even people who um, own their own kasori, they are there on the Facebook page, you know, sharing recipes and things like that. I was actually just on there earlier and I saw somebody talking about how they made chili in 25 minutes or something. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so they have their Facebook page, which I will have linked down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and check that out. And if you're interested in checking out a Kasori and getting one for yourself, I will have the Amazon linked down below. So let's check on the chicken. Oh, it smells so good. So awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on so you can hear me. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, pour the lemon juice on now because it says once the chicken is pretty cooked to go ahead and pour the lemon juice on each side and then just serve. So basically that's it. I mean, how simple is that? Some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of olive oil. Cook your chicken. Make a pot of rice when you're done. And that is it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the chicken is done now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. a little piece of this chicken and see how it came out see if it's tender if it's dry well it's definitely done
it's pretty good. I mean, for four little ingredients, a lemon, some salt, pepper, and some garlic salt, that is some pretty good chicken. And I love the fact that it actually came out brown. It's not all white. Like if you bake your chicken in the oven, it's like frying your chicken on the stove, but without the giant mess of having to clean your entire stove and a pan, all I have to clean is this pot. So I'm super happy about that. So don't forget to check out the links below for their Facebook page and for the Amazon link if you wanna check one of these babies out for yourself. And thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, that red subscribe button down below if you're new. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.